Now let's do societal structure. It's very simple. It is. Yeah, they simple. are, again, animals. Um, They're typically loners. Loners? But yeah, they, they fight each other. Like, yeah. like, the only time they will come in contact with another Hydra is when they want to have kids. Literally the yeah. only time. So the reason we... So I guess a good reason to bring up that they're territorial, like we did in the personality section, um, is to just show that they are ter- they are solitary. Um, they you're not going to encounter more than one, just because they are so lo- much like this is my territory. I only have so much food here, and I don't want you taking it. Also, I'm so hungry that I'm willing to eat you. <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> so, so. Um, yeah, they're solitary pretty much. I I don't I've never heard of a pride of hydras or a, a pack of hydras or whatever they're that would called. be scary like even alligators just chill in the same place because to fight each they other is, is a waste of time one of the thing is that they just eat everything so they're just constantly running around and just eating things yeah yeah so probably actually this is probably interesting um so the only time when they meet each other as again they have kids, to have and, kids. and a little they, fun fact uh don't be in the forest when there's a mating pair of hydras yes they'll wrestle each other like Komodo dragon, kind of like Komodo dragons. Like that's kind of like how they mate, and literally yeah. everything gets squashed. And like they like they'll just roll around. They have a like spectacular mating ritual. Kind of like eels, um, yeah. so they are these two huge monsters, and they will entangle themselves very aggressively together. So all their heads and necks will like mix together, and they'll become this just ball of hydra, and they'll just like go crazy like they'll run around all wrestle roll around and like they're big so like they'll like crush trees or any living thing in its path a gnome village they look up oh god (laughs) yeah no i think the mating ritual of a hydra is really cool because that would be an awesome encounter right like when you think hydras like they don't even care that they're like in the middle of meat like like they're just in the middle of mating they're not even they they probably that's probably the only time where they're like i don't want to eat you yeah so that like you're gonna walk into the forest you look over you're like what the you know you look back like trees gnome houses getting yeah. knocked down you know? and they mate when they're done like it's not like they're mating at this at this moment oh yeah no. um this is just something they do ahead of time like one kinda of like them asserts eagles, their do- dominance like, you know how eagles grab each other and they spin in the air right right right. yeah that's kind of like a ritual you know yeah but i think it'd be a cool encounter because it's not what you typically would expect to find like it's one of those things where it's like okay you, you find a hydra you can make it really cool you know, you can add all sorts of elements to the to the encounter to make it a good encounter. But it's like you're fighting a Hydra. Okay, makes sense. That's ba- pretty basic. Um, but to find two of them in a ball of neck and heads just rolling around, crushing everything in its path, and you have to, like, I don't know, maybe save people in the way or just not get killed yourself or it's just a fun little, like, what the heck is that? You know what fun I mean? random encounter that'd be awesome um you probably hopefully won't end up fighting them because that would be deadly uh and they're probably preoccupied at the moment but it'd be cool yeah, yeah that so, would yeah. be cool and um i believe if when they're done the fought they normally immediately separate and uh the potentially the father cares no craps about their kids yeah again They'll they're super them. hungry if they're super willing to hungry. eat themselves they're definitely willing to eat them their, their kids, their kids yeah. so they have like Babies have, like, a life expectancy that's so it, low, I'm surprised they still exist. It's like the like a female could have 6 to 12 eggs. Okay. And one reaches adulthood. So they're, like... I think... Yeah, I think... A, very I bad. think a female has up to 6. Yeah, no, it's, but, a, it's up to But six. only 1 out of 12 hydras typically survive. So, so a lot... So half the time, a female will mate, hat, lay its eggs, and all of them will die. Because the dad will eat them. Or, like, um, they're just stupid, and, like, other th- other things will eat hydras, too. Like, hydras. Yeah. So, hydras delicious. are semi-rare, probably, for that reason. Like, they're yeah. these giant monsters that are really hard to kill. So, once one does kind of get, uh, it does become an, an it's adult. It's going to take something big to kill yeah, it. It'll, yeah, it'll it'll live, probably, a healthy life. Um, But, yeah, baby ones, they're if you find one, I mean, that would be extremely valuable. And I will actually say right now why that's extremely valuable. Um, I was thinking societal structure, we can talk about their societal structure, which is what we're doing, but we can also talk about how they can affect other societies, typically humans. And what I'm about to you explain... Can tame one? Well, you can, is, is it going to be how tame I don't like Hydra? 
No, basically oh. they their their bodies are extremely valuable. Oh yeah. No, yeah. I actually have a bunch of stuff about that. Okay. Yeah. I so. I'm gonna just list off the things I have, and if you have any more, yeah, you can go add. for it. Literally, okay. go for it. Okay. So their carcasses are extremely valuable because there's all these different parts of their body that can be used for different things, which I will outline. Um, but just as like a precursor, they would be very prized by hunters, right? Um, trappers. Alchemists. You could even have hydro farms, and we'll get into how. Once we more like fun fact stuff. But hydro this is how a society would likely talk about a hydra. Um, except it, they would say it's a terrible beast, stay away, it's going to kill us all. But in a positive note, this is what they talk about, and maybe this is what you'd find in a village. So their teeth. If you kill one, their teeth can be used for unbreakable uh, blades. For like really unbreakable. Nearly unbreakable. This is normally for like farming equipment and stuff. Oh. You could probably fashion a knife. Um, I'll make a unbreakable hoe with a. Yes. No. This could just be a Minecraft. You just are you're attacking. <laughs> you kill a hydra of Minecraft. You have a literally... pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike, you can fight with pickaxes in Minecraft. Um, oh, yeah. So that's what their teeth can be made for. And these are like explicitly stated. Some some of these come from all different sources. Um, but plus homebrew is fine. Uh, but one of these is from me. Uh, but it makes sense uh, from my knowledge of the what mythology. Is it? What is it? We'll get to it. We'll go down the line. So teeth used for unbreakable blades. Hides can in so their hides are very uh, temperature resistant, which is not normal for reptiles. We could actually, I could actually explain why. It actually, kind of depends on the hydra, but it does depend on the hydra. Um, but this is something that that could be very valuable. Is their hide? They insulate temperature, which is good for agriculture. Um, specifically, this is the thing that's mentioned, berries. Because berries n- need pretty specific temperatures to grow. Like, they're not easy things to grow. And so oh. if you put the, the, the hydra hide over it, it will keep it, like, at a good temperature. Um, so that's what hides can be used for. Their tongues, this is really odd, can be used to tell the weather. Um, oh, if, like, if it, like, shrinks, it's, like, gonna be cold. Or if it's, like, No, it's a long. Co- it's a color thing. I don't explicitly oh, if, remember which color. If it turns purple, it's, like, gonna be cold or something. I think purple means it's going to rain, at least in the next day. And then blue, I believe, means it's gonna drop to some extent. Oh. And red means it's gonna be hot. Gonna raise temperature to some extent, and so you could put the tongue up like on a pole, like a flag, <sighs> and basically do it like. Wait, that. so you walk into farm, you look up, but why is your tongue on the roof of the house? Like the tongue's just like dripping, like the wind, and it's like bright red. I just think it's funny. It's like you don't. See no, yeah, it, you could have tongue just dangling. if you had. What's so would it rot? Like would crows be like eating it? So it's not like. That's a good question. Yeah, it probably wouldn't last very long. But let's say you had like a town, uh, like you could you could basically make a town that's completely themed Hydra. You know what I mean? Like Hail Hydra. Like they had they had a Hydra encounter. They won, and now the whole place is like really big in Hydras, right, or something like that. Or it's just a town that's like near the swamps, and the they, hi- they, and they kill the Hydra and they're like, and Ooh. they go out there and hunt Hydras. That's like their thing. And so you might see like a farmer have like a tongue on a pole, and that, that that's just a way to flavor a village, right? That's kind of cool. Um, so that's one. Their bones can be ground to be what is called a desiccant. I was pronouncing that right, and I had to look up what that means. Um, but basically, I don't know what that means. desiccants are an agricultural like a fertilizer. Like a fertilizer, but you they're like a powder, and it's it sucks moisture in. Um, and so it makes things dry. Makes things dry, and that's good for certain types of growing. So that's literally, it. hydras are the literal. Like if you're a farmer, you want to kill a hydra. Literally totally, but not just for farming. Um, let's get in. Well, actually, we still got some more farming ones. So hydra fat can be mixed. Wait, I thought they were fat. They have. I mean, everything has fat. No. Oh. Um. So the chunky ones. The chunky ones. Yeah. So hydra fat can be mixed with cornmeal to produce a very unique type of rat poison. And rip those rats. This isn't poisonous to rats. But it, it, rats can't get enough of it. They love it. So they overeat it, and die? They overeat and die. Not only do they die, but they're also easy to kill because they're obese. But they, like, literally can't stop eating it, 
which is kind of cool because it's linked to their ability to hydras being so hungry you know what i mean that's a cool thing there um so that's what their hydra fat can be used for <laughs> which, so, is, like, which is fun it's kind of curious because i research some stuff literally everything loves hydra meat literally like hydra meat's like yeah i'll get a into fine that. cuisine like you can just eat hydra meat and it's freaking delicious yeah I'll, I'll try it out that's one meat yeah. for yeah so like, meat for high quality food like humans love it dragons love it dragons especially love it yeah I, we can talk about that we'll talk about it with enemies and allies um but yeah, it, the meat is in, in a society is like a delicacy. It's like oh, yeah, really it's good. super good. Um, yeah. Supposedly it tastes like chicken, although... Then why not just eat chicken? Why not just eat chicken? I don't know. It's okay, a delicacy because so it's ima- Hydra. It's like, oh, this tastes good. Imagine like Chick-fil-A doesn't exist, but Hydra meat tastes like Chick-fil-A chicken. Hi filet Hydra filet Hydra filet Yeah, but no, it tastes like chicken, right? Yeah. Mm. But it's hydro, so that makes it like exotic and and it's high huge. End. Like imagine a chicken nugget that's like massive, like a giant chicken nugget. You know, well, you would cut it up. But yes, that's true. Oh, I want a giant chicken nugget, like a dinosaur chicken nugget. Hydro, a hydro chicken nugget. Yeah, fried hydro leg. Well, a leg Can, is massive. Wait, what? KFH, Kentucky Fried Hydro. <laughs> okay. Fried anyway, hydro. so yeah, their meat's really good. Um, the head itself can be used you can like stick it on a pike or whatever and it, cool. it can be like a scarecrow it will scare away pests because pests well, no birds dip. and all sorts of small mammals all the birds are like oh God. <laughs> yeah they'll look at it and be like oh i'm out because you know they know what it is I'm out. um their blood so this is this is their at, do you want me to talk about the blood sure yeah so Let's basically their blood rivals trolls and it's actually better than trolls you might think, like, what? Well, why? Because trolls can literally get their head chopped off and they can just put it back. They're kind of like Deadpool, right? But okay. trolls are, like, super mutative. So don't drink, mm. like, health potions that come from trolls. Because, It'll mess you, you know, up. It'll, you, might, you might wake up and you got, like, an extra extra toe. Right. It might, like, be growing up. But eyeball. just, you're, okay. Very, but what you're saying is the yeah. blood is, is used for health potions. Yeah, so basically, Hydra blood uh, makes literally the best healing potions in the forgotten realms world that's like okay. the main ingredient because it's very pure blood compared mm. to like trolls and um yeah so basically the reason why like, like the price is like you know normal health potions are made from like flowers and like herbs but like once you get to like the big ones like the legendary the supreme healing potions mm-hmm. that's like made from magic and hydra blood so hydra blood is very um okay very uh it's used actually more than just potions um that's how flame tongues are made i'll explain why that's there that's okay. why uh those cold swords are flame tongues but cold version okay ice um ice claws ice fangs i think that's what they're called yeah but their blood okay. is also made to make those swords so they're nice. actually very enchanted i'll explain why why it's ice and fire game of <laughs> but um yeah so basically their blood is pr- probably their most valuable part of their body um, because it makes them good potions, you know? Yeah. But yeah, so basically it's very regenerative, very rich in, uh, um, healing power, so. Yeah, so, so yeah, their, their alchemist, blood is probably the most valuable thing. It's very expensive, too. Literally, like, yeah. a pillar of it, or a fill, what is it called? Like, a big potion. A filler? Pillar? I don't know. Uh, let's say a gallon of Hydra blood can go for, like, a thousand gold pieces, Wow, because it's that key ingredient. Yeah, yeah. So three. killing a hydra get that is blood. itself treasure. Yeah. Um. So if you have someone who can gut it all up and get it into pieces and have a way of transporting it, that's there you that's, go. I kind of, I kind of think like that. That should be a cool idea for DMs. Like you should really go into depths. Like let's say you kill a dragon, or in this case a hydra, you can like sell its body parts. Like who's gonna be like. Hey, yeah, I have a hydro like in the back. Like, no, not you know, it's like if a player wants to, yeah, yeah, like that. That it may be not cool, be the most you know? interesting, um, unless the, they make it interesting. Yeah, but yeah, okay. So the last one, and this is the one I added. Um, this is completely inspired by mythology, but I didn't find it anywhere in D anD. d So, um, their bile. So that's like their stomach. I could be a good poison. I guess. Oh no! They're, just no, the the stomach acid. acid in there is so the the yeah. mythological hydra that fought. Hercules, super poisonous. Like ex- the oh, most. Well, like if it bites you, you're. I believe oh, there was. Yeah. It was like, this. There was like a the Hydra had poisoned something. I don't remember what it was. It was like a deer or something. Didn't the d- deer died? 
fell into a river. Killed the river. And it killed the river. <laughs> it was so poisonous, all the fish in the river also died. And then the people who drink the the water and ate the fish also died. It didn't go as far as that. And then but the worms that ate the bodies of the people also died. And then when the birds eat the worms, the birds died. And it's just a cycle of death. You know, you'd be... That stuff can actually happen. Like with pesticides, pesticides can basically increase as they go up the food chain which we don't get into that. uh, that's, uh, um, that's actually very interesting um yeah so basically hawks die from pesticides more than like a like a like a flower animal it's pretty interesting you should look it up pretty cool you call it yeah i don't know the name save of the environment save the earth um but that's all the ones i have do you have any others um well i, I was going to talk about like the flame t- like you can make um some you can make uh boots of winter resistance like, do you know those right. boots? They're kind of goofy, though. Goofy looking. That that comes from, like, the purple hydros. Okay. Goofy. And you're probably wondering, like, what, what, why are they talking about, like, fire and ice? We'll get into it later, guys, all right? But, yeah, they're, so... Remember, they are related to dragons. So, so some of magical. them have a little yeah. bit of abilities, oh, more than the stat block says. Yes. Um. Let me think. Uh, you can have them as cloaks. Um. Pretty interesting. There is a jungle variant. Really rare. It can camouflage. Chameleon Hydra. Oh, cool. Kind of scary. So you can um, make like an elven. Do you know the elven cloaks? Okay. That's not normally made from Hydra skin, but like you can have chameleon hydras. Okay. Jungle hydras. Okay, so That's we're going to talk about, clearly we're going to talk about variant hydras because they are highly, they can mutate a lot. Um, so we can throw in more when we get to yeah. that. But just to close off societal structure, those are all the things their carcasses can be used for. They have a spectacular mating ritual. They kill their babies because they're so hungry. Um, I, does the mother kill the babies? I don't... Like, they never... Nothing would, really says, like, does the mother just, like, yeah, book it? Yeah, it, it, it like, explicitly says the father kills like the babies. only the father. Which is more which is more common. Um, in animals, yeah. In animals. I'm pretty sure bears but do that. I think it would kind of make sense that the mom does, too. Just because there are animals that do that. Like, like that, sharks, I'm pretty sure, lay eggs, and then I mean, they yeah. forget about their baby in, like, two minutes. And it's like, oh, wait, what's that? <laughs> so the, the shark needs to get out of so there. So does all the babies just have to, like, book it? I think like so. Like, when they're, they're kind of like turtles. Like, they just book it. <laughs> yeah, except hopefully a little quicker. Um, but a few other things. Um, they, are, they mutate a lot, so I, I mentioned that. But different mutations can breed, and they've done this for a long time. And so you can get all sorts of wacky abilities from hydras. Um we're going to talk about different types of hydras, but I'll just and say for now. they can all have kids with each other. They can all have kids with each other, meaning they can become all these different mixtures. You can literally cu- have like a abomination hydra that, like, I don't know, does Yeah, one, one head does this, and one head does that, and all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, you have stuff. Imagine but the, the hydras that But the babies. hydra we're talking about, I don't think I mentioned this name, is called the Lernaean hydra. Which is actually a rare type of hydra. So do you, do you just want to talk about what the variants are? Um, let's wait. But I'm just um this this one, the Lernaean Hydra, is the basic one that we're talking about that, that regenerates heals, yeah. regenerates its heads from the, basically it's the D and D one, the basic D and D one, and it's called Lernaean Hydra, I believe. Because that, uh, the goddess of the dragon's name was Lernaean yeah. There's or that. Or her name. I also believe lernea or something like that is the like name a of us as a greek city or something like that um I mean, greece Maybe i don't really know Maggie but lernea and hydra is what we're talking about and so i mentioned they can mutate and mix around but no matter what type of mutant there is there is always a possibility that they will just breed and have a basic lernea and hydra that will always be a possibility so you may have this like crazy messed up hydra Breed with this completely different crazy messed up Hydra. They'll mate and they'll just have the basic Lernaean Hydra, which is powerful in its own. Um, Ash, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's also common Hydras, which are like hi- like Lernaean Hydras, but they don't grow heads. They don't grow heads. So we'll get into all yeah, the variants. So like, but the basic one that we're mostly talking about here is Lernaean Hydra that regenerates its heads, and that's it. Um, okay. Any more on societal structure? Uh, no. That, that was actually pretty. That's pretty good for society structure. Yeah, especially for just a basic animal. Yeah. Okay. Enemies and allies. Um. So I can kind of take this part. Um. They, <laughs> okay. they they're animals. I don't think animals have beef with each other. Yeah. Actually, some saying do. enemies and allies. It's kind of is... like what attacks them. What do they attack? Let's kind of say it that way. Yeah. Um. They're an apex predator, so they kill 
everything that they can eat. Not everything, but pretty Not much everything. everything. But everything they can put their little heads on. They'll they probably bite. avoid other apex predators. Yeah, um, dragon. Even so though they are so hungry... They are still animals that They're are capable stupid. of being like, that's going to kill me, so I'm not going to go over there. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, so um, I can only really think of one thing that really goes after hydras, which are, bum, 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 dragons. Dragons, dragons freaking love hydras. Literally, it's like a delicacy to them. Yeah. I'm not sure why everything loves to eat hydras. It's so sad. But that's another reason why baby hydras don't make it, because a dragon, um, a dragon can smell a hydra. Hydras give off this very unique pheromone. I believe it's like yeah. in their neck. Yeah, so that I, would make sense. Like, 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 they're all about I, yeah, their neck. Yeah, so, so yeah, so I think it's in their neck. Which, by the way, is their brain. I mean, like, it that's comes where from their brain. It is, comes too. from uh, like glands of some sort. You know, what I mean, like right. where pheromones come from. Yeah, so it comes from there, and dra- dragons can smell a hydra, and dragons, like even the metallic nice ones, are like, ooh, food. They'll go and grab the hydra and leave. Yeah. So a pretty cool part of the hydra. So let's say you kill a hydra, right? Take its pheromones. That's how you summon dragons. Yeah, it is you can, cool. You can plop that sucker on the ground. Um, uh, dragons will smell it. Um, people have talked to this before on other like YouTube channels and stuff. But um, yeah, so basically, hydras are a good way to like get a dragon's attention. You know, you can even yeah. drink it, and you become the hydra food. And they'll and dragons will completely ignore everyone and try to eat you. They'll just grab you and run to the yeah. layer. So, yeah, hydras have pheromones that attract dragons. And that is one of those things that's, like, typically problematic. But it's one of those, like, uh, uh, I guess it's how you bait a dragon, though. Like, let's say you're trying to kill one. You're like, but, um, right. but why would you? It's one of those. Um, why am I blanking a word? Like, it's a substance that it's, like, you don't. Ha- there's no clear good purpose. It's like, okay, this summons dragons. You have to be really creative in how you use it. You yeah, know what I mean? Because, like, you summon a dragon that could very much kill you like if you're level eight and you and you're fighting a hydra well, that does not mean you're ready for a dragon hopefully you get to show lucky up. and it's a young dragon hopefully it's not the gargantuan or you ones. just don't mess around with it um but yeah wait so that means when you kill one like if you accidentally cut like the gland that has it like you stab it to like cut it cut it like to butcher it and you're like oh crap and just yeah drag it. And that like, could be it, a penalty yeah. maybe that will be something that like a dm can roll to see like if dragons pull up and I'm well, sure no, you could. Even. I like to. Leave, I like to kind of make it on the players, not on the rolls. So you could um, basically say, like, you have to be an expert to butcher a hydra, and if you mess up, you could end up cutting one of these glands and attracting dragons. And so, like, when that person is wanting to butcher the hydra, they'll have to make ability checks on like their what? I don't even know. It would maybe nature. Survi- uh, survival, survival nature, something like that. Probably um, nature. And and if the, and so that could be a cool ability check. And there's some characters that are like you know they're like hunters and they're like made for that sort of thing. Um, so that's a cool way to kind of give them expertise in the matter. Or maybe they don't players don't want to mess with it and need to take it to an expert because they don't want to attract you know some giant dragon that's going to come in and kill yeah, them. Um, if they even know about it. They might not even know that, and they might start butchering, and then you gotta they're be like, like, "Why the heck well, is there three roll, dragons?" Roll for like nature, please. And they're like, "I'm just butchering it." Nope, you need to do this right. Yeah. <laughs> or like, or 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 like, you're like, "Why is there like three dragons pulling on like a wyvern?" I'm pretty sure why wyverns like to eat hydras too. Literally everything likes to eat, eat a hydra. So if yeah. there's a hydra, carcass, but eating a hydra ain't ain't too easy. You gotta kill it first. You gotta kill it. But so it, dragons if, can do but it. If but if there is a dead one, I'm expect dragons scavengers um, yeah pretty sure purple worms i think dragons are the only thing that are attracted to the pheromones but a hydra would love if other things were because it'd be like oh great just come to me so i can eat you (laughs) oh well (laughs) yeah that's true i mean it's definitely i don't i'm pretty sure uh adult dragons can actually go after high adult hydras Mm. but i'm pretty sure the dragon might get screwed because, nor- I mean, some- well, unless it's, you know, like a red dragon. But, like, hydras normally chill in, like, lakes and, well, like, uh, they like water, obviously. So, like, you know, like, unless it's, like, a, I'm pretty sure the only ones that swim are, like, gold, greens, and blacks. So, if it's not a amphibious dragon, the hydra can just grab them and pull them in the water. You know, yeah. a dragon, or dragons, but, like, when you got a hydra of multiple heads, you know, ripping at, 
You know, yeah. it's kind of tough, and they regenerate too, unless it's a fire breathing dragon. No, it's, it's not. It's roost. not easy prey. It's kind of one of those things. Dragons are like you taste really good, and I'm gonna put in the effort to fight you. You know yeah. what I mean, and kill you. Um, like it, and and risk dying. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure reds and golds um, automatically win. They got fire breath. It just burns. It, it just kind of gets rid of. That's true. The hydra's fi- main fire. Advantage. Yeah, that's that's where. Yeah. yeah. So. And acid can kind of be the same way, um, but not. Does acid affect the heads? Not according to the stat block, but historically it does. That makes sense. Well, well, bro, well, I thought it was like the, the fire cauterizes the wound, so the wound can't like grow. That is what it is. But like, does uh, acid, but acid can do a similar like thing. Acid kind of just eats it, so I kind of feel like acids won't let the heads grow back now. But once it wears off, it'll just let it grow because it's not like making a barrier. Maybe. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Like, if you use acid, like, the heads won't come out instantly, but eventually it will. So it's like, mm. you, there's nothing, it grows instantly. There's acid that makes it kind of, like, ish, ish grow. Then fire completely stops it, so. I see. Yeah. Okay, well, in terms of enemies and allies. Dragons eat them, they dra- eat everything. Yeah, nothing really tries to eat them except dragons, but dragons love to eat them. Especially the babies. So, so dragons are their enemies. Yeah. Especially the babies. Um. Okay. 